What are the upcoming changes to Microsoft PL900 exam and how will they affect you if you are preparing for this exam? Hello, I'm Philip Burton of idodata.com. The PL900 is Microsoft's Power Platform Fundamentals exam. Like all the others in the 900 series, it is a fundamentals, which means that you need to know what is possible rather than how you actually do things. It is a good platform to start on if you wish to go for any of the higher exams. The PO100, the app maker, allows you concentrates on making Canvas apps, model-driven apps, and Power Automate flows. The PO200 takes this a step further in the Functional Consultant exam, and the PO400 is about programming. But all of these start with knowing the fundamentals. The PO900 exam is made up of six different categories. They are describe the business value of Power Platform, identify the core components of Power Platform, demonstrate the capabilities of Power BI, demonstrate the capabilities of Power Apps, that's both Canvas and Model Driven, demonstrate the capabilities of Power Automate, and demonstrate the business value of Power Virtual Agents. So all of these are demonstrate the capabilities or identify or describe so it's not actually doing it, it's knowing about the terminology and what they can do. So let's have a look at the study guide. So on screen, you'll see the study guide up to September the 28th, 2022. And I will talk through the changes. So to start with, describe the business value of Microsoft Power Platform. Well, there are minor changes here. Use connectors to integrate services and data as opposed to access. Describe how Microsoft Power Platform Business Solutions work together with Microsoft 365 apps and services. But the more major changes are down here in the Describe Microsoft Power Platform Administration and Security. Describe Microsoft Power Platform privacy and accessibility capabilities. That came in the previous refresh, and it really did seem to me at the time to be a duplication of this. So you've got the guidelines and now you've got the capabilities. Well, the capabilities has been deleted. And in its place, there is a new bullet point. Describe analytics and how they can be used. So analytics, if you go to your Power Apps, Dot com environment and you go to settings and admin center you'll see on the left hand side you have got analytics and you've got dataverse analytics with all of these different tabs power automate analytics and power apps so what you have required to know is basically what are these tabs and roughly what would they do so going back to the requirements for the PL900, in the Describe Microsoft Dataverse, there are three new sections. Describe business logic, including business rules, real-time workflows, and actions. And there's quite a lot in just that one bullet point. Business rules, for example, allow you to apply business logic at the data layer. So they allow you to validate store data, set and clear field values, show error messages for invalid data, and much more. Real-time workflows are attached to a table and they can start after something has changed in the data. So a row is created or before a row field changes, for instance. And an action can be called when code calls them. So fairly advanced there. Another bullet point that is new is describe data flows and their uses. So if you're used to Excel and the get and transform, it's basically the equivalent of that. So it allows you to load data from various sources, such as databases and text files. You can then transform it using Power Query, and then you can save it online. A third bullet point that has been added is to do with solutions. So this was previously included in the PL900 exam, but was taken out in an earlier update. So solutions are used to transport apps and components from one environment to another. So you'll need to know about unmanaged solutions and managed solutions. 
and in the unmanaged solutions, you'd also need to know about the two default solutions. An additional bullet point in the Describe AI Builder section is describe how AI Builder is consumed in Microsoft Teams and Microsoft SharePoint. So that just expands the Power Apps and Power Automate section. In Demonstrate the capabilities of Power BI, there is one new bullet point, describe using a Power BI in mobile apps. So you'll need to know the interface and be able to describe what each of the buttons going across the bottom do and what they contain. If we can now go down to demonstrate the capabilities of Power Apps, there's a minor change here, connect to data sources by using connectors, which is probably a better description, but there is an additional bullet point in this build a basic canvas app and that is describe embedding into Microsoft Teams. So Microsoft Teams allows you to have canvas driven apps in a tab. So these are tab apps. So I can go into somebody's details or you can also have it as a personal app. So in other words, it would be on the left hand side here. So they're very easy ways to be able to share your apps with other people in your Microsoft Teams. If we now turn to build a basic model driven app, there's a curious change, create and modify views and columns. Well, really columns are part of the Dataverse table. If you are adding or subtracting columns, then that would be part of modifying views. So I'm not entirely sure what that's all about. And then finally, we've built a basic cloud flow. There are some minor changes use floor steps as opposed to floor controls. And this is create a cloud floor. So it's making sure you know that it's a cloud floor as opposed to a desktop floor. And then finally, the publish a chatbot down here. It's a bit more explicit in the new version. Publish a chatbot to different applications, including Microsoft Teams, websites, and other apps. So there's around a half a dozen new bullet points that you need to know about and only one deletion. So you need to know about embedding in Microsoft Teams. You need to know a lot more about Microsoft Dataverse, the business logic rules, data flows and solutions. And you also need to know what analytics are and how they can be used in the Microsoft Power Platform. So all of these changes start on September the 29th. And if you are an American student, then you could be eligible for AC college credit if you pass this certification exam. And you can have your exam online as well as in person. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you'd consider finding out more about the PL900 exam. And then you never know, you might want to go further into the Microsoft Power Platform when you can see how useful it could be for your business. Well, thank you very much for watching this. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please click the like and why not subscribe to the video and click that bell. That way you'll be notified of any new videos. Thank you very much for watching this. I'm Philip Burton of idodata.com and keep learning.